my name is Jim Woodall. I attended West Fannin High School from 1957-58 through 1960-61. And I played football, baseball, and track every year. And I played basketball for a year or two. Sports have been a major part of my life. My involvement in sports began at age 10, playing football at the park in Copper Hill, and ended some 55 years later when I retired from a 40-year career as a high school teacher and a coach. Playing and coaching multiple sports year-round requires an enormous amount of, of time, and your loved ones have to be understanding and very supportive. I want to thank my family for their support, beginning with my mom and dad, my sister Mary Nell, and my brother Charles. They all were taking care of my business, my chores, while I was always out playing or practicing some sport. And later, while coaching, my wife Rosemary, my daughter Jamie, and my son Jason. I want to thank them for the same thing. As a player in high school and college and also uh, as a coach, my attitude was, it's not about me. I always thought of myself as a team player. Even when I was very young, I can never remember wanting to be the best player there was. I just wanted to be the best player that I could become by hard work. And I certainly had no illusions of grandeur. I wasn't even the best football player in my family. That would be my brother Charles. The highlight of my career was walking on in college and earning a football scholarship uh, in the first 12 months, working my way from fourth team to first team at cornerback for most of the 63 season and all of the 64 season. Uh, when I finally found myself on the depth chart, I found myself at uh, fifth team uh, left cornerback there were three full scholarship players in front of me and one walk-on. And um, the three scholarship players had been given full scholarships and recruited out of high school. One was from Miami, Florida. One was from Westminster, Maryland. And one was from Reading, Pennsylvania. And in about a year and a half, I had worked my way up the depth chart. And in 1963, uh, just before mid-season, I was moved up to first team and started and rest of 63 season at corner and all of 64. And another highlight in my career was uh, graduating less than four years and being hired at Cleveland High School, winning a football state championship the fourth year of my coaching while going um, 32 consecutive games without losing and having more than 10 players receive Division I football scholarships in my first few years of coaching. I truly believe God was in control of all of this, and I'm so blessed to have a lifelong friendship with my high school and college teammates and the players I had the privilege to coach. How many people were able to go to work every day for 40 years absolutely loving their job? I was one of those people. Mm -hmm.